Dude, Joe. thanks for having me, Adam. Uh, I, you ninja a lot of people tonight. Because of you, I you started it. a whole craze. <laughs> I love it. Um, I want to set this up. But there's only 400. This is the best cutting tool we believe on the market. And Kelly's gonna tell us why and share with us why. Kelly, you were in this business and you said yeah. the cutting tools out there, they didn't cut the mustard. Yeah, the thing is, everyone, uh, if you're a crafter or you're a crafty person or you've got um, paper projects to make, yes. you have four or five go-to, can't live without tools, right? right? Top of that list gotta be a paper trimmer. Absolutely. And if you have a bad paper trimmer, you're gonna have a bad experience. There you go. Right? So, I had a bad experience. Right. <laughs> I had, a, I had 10 bad paper trimmers and I hated them all. And I thought, these need to be professional grade. They need to um, do the one or two things that I have to have every time I cut paper. And those are, it's gotta cut straight. Yep. It's gotta be accurate. Basics. And it's gotta stay sharp. Absolutely. So, as I take you on a tour of the Caterpillar, okay. both the Caterpillar Crop and the Caterpillar Pro. Yes. You'll see that we've solved those three, three things in spades. Okay. I wanna tell you that what we're offering right now is gonna be the Pro, which is this one over here. So the Pro is yeah. $114.95. You get everything you need. And one of the things that's gonna drive you wild is what Kelly said, this stays sharp. Yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. So the, the Pro comes with this bag. Yeah. And, and it's really meant as a, as a staple in your craft room. Yes. It's gonna stay put, but if you've gotta travel with it to a crop or a friend's house, this bag is amazing. Okay. Okay, let's cut some stuff. Let's do it. All right, so I said uh, some of the things that we wanted to do yeah. is I wanted it to um, stay sharp. Yes. Right, let's start with that. Okay. Uh, if you have memory of, of any of the, the trimmers you got in the past, they, they cut really three ways. The first way is this, Guillotine. Yeah. I'm not even gonna talk, talk yeah. about that. Yeah. If you have toddlers or kids, you don't want that guillotine around, no. right? Dangerous. It also drags the stock into the blade as Indeed. you pull it through and it doesn't cut straight. Right. So that's one way. The other way is you have a rotary cutter. Yes. And you take that rotary cutter and typically you smash it into a self-healing mat. Yeah. And you're taking something super sharp and you're smashing into something that's made not to be cut. So immediately that blade's gonna get it's dull getting over time. Dull, First cut's gonna be great, second cut's gonna be eh, third cut, you're done. <laughs> the, the other way is you have a stationary um, drag blade. Yeah. And those are usually good, but they cut in just one area on the paper, and that same area is gonna get all of the use. The rest of the blade, no use. Yeah. So what I said is that let's change, let's add all those components together and make it work better. So okay. what we did is, and this is taken off one of these, if you can see it. We made a really sharp hardened steel rotary blade, yep. which passes down here okay. on a stationary uh, straight blade. Okay. And this blade is a little bit harder than this blade. Okay. And so as I pull it across that, it makes it sharper over okay. time. We put a gear here and a gear here and a gear here. So and so funny. as you move it, it turns that at a perfect one-to-one -one ratio. Jeez Louise. That's ridiculous. Let's do it on some paper, okay. shall we? Okay. And by the way, there's a built-in LED light because everybody needs that to get that perfect yep. cut. It's built in on the base, all right. Okay, so as I pull this across, it's not the paper moving the blade, it's the blade moving itself. And so I'm doing this a little bit opposite. You can see I'm just... Smooth, accurate, butter. precision. Right. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna flip this around a little bit and we'll show you solving that other problem, with, which is the accuracy problem. Okay. I can see here where exactly the edge of my blade is, right? Yeah. And so I can see that that's gonna pull right over the edge, yeah. and we've added something else, here we go. <laughs> this light yeah. can show you exactly where that blade is. So I'm gonna take that little hairline off perfectly straight. Just like that. Every time. That's, do, can we do that again? One more time, in fact, I'm gonna take just this um, little tiny edge off there. And you can I mean, see, there's my hairline. Awkward. And of course, if I want to trim out this thing perfectly, I don't even have to use this. If I didn't print on my paper straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. which happens, right? right? I know that those lines are straight. I don't even have to use this ruler up here. I can just line that up perfectly. Hit it there. If you are a crafter, turn it 90. and you are looking for a paper cutter, I do want to do this justice. This is one of the most awarded paper cutting products ever invented not just here in America, but worldwide, the Caterpillar has become a monster size sensation. So to have Kelly here is a huge honor and thank a privilege. You. Oh, thank I'm you. thrilled. This is the inventor creator. We have the best price 
and we've got FlexPay. Uh, with everyone on the phone line, 175 now left before it's done. Every I crafter mean, needs yeah. a paper cutter. I get, I get qu uh, asked questions a lot. It's like, what can I cut on this? Right. Uh, you can cut any thickness of cardstock. Okay. Um, up to 130 pound. You can even cut light chipboard. Okay. Because and and the cutter will actually give you some feedback as you use it, whether it's too too thick or not. Right. I don't want you to cut things like metal or you know super thick cardboard. It'll get, it'll kick, it'll push back a little bit at, with those gears to tell you I'm too thick. Okay. Can, can you cut glitter paper? Absolutely. All right. Just right through it perfectly every time. The, the LED light that you've built in in the base, it, 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 it's illuminating it from behind mm -hmm. so I can really see That's what exactly, I'm that's where the cutting edge is. There's no, right. with other cutters they have got guides that you're kind of guessing where it is and if you've been working on a project for a long time yeah. and you've got a lot invested in it and you've got to make a trim sure. on it, you don't want to ruin it, right? <laughs> or you've got a nice photo that you've printed on photo paper yeah. and you want to trim it exactly, you don't want to lose any parts of it, cut someone's hand off, cut yeah. someone's head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pull it right to where you want to trim within the photo, cut it exactly there and it'll be perfect every time. So I just put batteries in it to make the, to light, the light work? Four AA batteries it, that will last a year. Okay. It, as long as you're turning it off at night, not leaving it on. It sips the power. Yeah, they, yeah the bulbs are rated at 50,000 hours, oh. so they're not gonna work, run Forever out. Forever in yeah. a day, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be delivered to you. It's beautiful, it's easy, it's portable, but it's professional. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing quite like it out there, and that's what drove Kelly to do it yeah. better than everywhere else. Remembering, this is never gonna need babying or maintaining. Yeah. This is always gonna stay yep. sharp, Absolutely. and in essence, actually get sharper. Yeah. Show everybody this one last time. Yeah, so, so so as you, typically when you are using a, a cutter, it's the paper that's giving you resistance that's yes. turning that blade. Yes. This actually is gonna turn whether there's paper in the way or not. Right. It doesn't care if there's paper there, it's just gonna keep doing its job turning over and over. And these little microbursts that occur on this blade right. get polished off by this other blade down here and it gets sharper over time. We've been running our prototype that we built seven or eight years ago at all of our events. Yeah. Every year we bring the same prototype, it cuts the same paper. I think it's sharper today than it was seven years ago. They asked, I, 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 they asked if I wanted to air this as the last product tonight oh. and I said yes because this is the grand finale. Guys, this is the only presentation. I, I wish there was more. <laughs> we have with everybody on the phone line, less than 100. It is regarded by many and I wrote it down. National awards, the list is too long to name. This product is not just a product, it is regarded as the greatest innovation in terms of a cutting tool of the past decade. There is nothing else like it, and tonight, for the remaining 100 customers, it's the lowest price.